Hello, the purpose of this instruction is to demonstrate how to initiate a resubmission in the Clearinghouse Results website. If you don't yet have access to the Clearinghouse Results website, you must first register on the portal and receive access. Please see the Clearinghouse User Registration Guide for registration and login instructions at http colon forward slash forward slash aca dot myflorida dot com slash background screening. The search page allows you to review the eligibility status of an individual if they have undergone a screening or if they have a screening in process in the clearinghouse. If the individual is not found, a screening may be initiated from this page. If the individual is found, their profile page will appear. To search for an individual, you must enter the individual's social security number and last name or date of birth. It is recommended that you only put in either the last name or date of birth. Then select search. If the individual has a screening in the Clearinghouse Results website, their profile page will appear. The retention of fingerprints provides a cost saving for applicants that are in the Clearinghouse but have had a lapse in employment greater than 90 days. If there has been a 90 day lapse in employment, these applicants would only require a new National Criminal History Check a resubmission of the retained fingerprints. A new state criminal history search will also be conducted at no additional charge. You are able to pay for resubmission through the Clearinghouse Results website and the applicant does not need to visit a live scan location and submit new fingerprints. To initiate a resubmission for an individual, please select the Initiate Resubmission button. To ensure the appropriate criteria is applied during the screening review, the position type and reason for screening the individual must be entered. First, select the provider that the individual has applied to work for from the drop-down list. Please note that the provider drop-down will only display if you are accessing the website on behalf of multiple providers. Select the position that the individual is applying for from the drop-down list. Select the Privacy Policy link to view and print the Privacy Policy. Check the Affirmation box to confirm the applicant has signed and agreed to the Privacy Policy. Select Next. You will now begin the process of paying for the resubmission. The cost of a resubmission is the current fee for a National Criminal History Check plus a service fee. Resubmission payment options are by credit card or e-check. The Clearinghouse accepts MasterCard, Discover, or American Express, or personal or business checking savings account. Visa is not accepted. To pay for the resubmission, select the payment method and then select Pay Total Amount to continue. Please note that all resubmission payments will be collected by the Agency for Healthcare Administration. Enter the payment information in the field marked with asterisks. Once completed, select Continue to verify payment information and submit the request. It is important to note that the payment information will not be saved. To submit your payment using e-checking, you must answer a challenge question. Please enter the email address associated with the account you used to log into the website. Review your payment information and select Confirm to submit your payment. Select Submit Resubmission Request to complete this request. An email confirmation and receipt will be sent to the address on record. Once the screening request is submitted, you will be directed to a confirmation screen. Select Home if you are done or Initiate Screening to initiate a screening for another individual. This concludes our training on how to initiate a resubmission on the Clearinghouse Results website. Please select the Contact Us link at the bottom of the webpage for any questions. Thank you.